So a while ago, we decided that we wanted to host a bridge building competition, a easy engineering challenge that anyone online could join and participate in. It was gonna be 3D printed. So anyone could send in an STL model of a bridge. We would then print out the bridges and test everyone's bridge on the same rig. Okay, Jesse, we need to get ready. It's 11 o'clock, yes, bridge night yes. is at 7 p.m. Right now, I am getting everyone's bridges together and setting them on this build plate. Okay. We're gonna print all this stuff out. Yeah, this this is step one. Step two is to print our bridges. And to test our true engineering prowess, we decided to push it off to the very last moment to design the test rig, the competition specifics, and the live stream of the event. Did you make your bridge? No, I didn't. Uh, I, didn't. I haven't made my have bridge. You your bridge. I haven't even started my okay, bridge. Okay, I need to make my bridge. I think what I'm worried about today is just getting all these bridges printed on time. Yeah. It's... How many do you have left? Eight, not including ours. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is gonna be pretty strong right here. This yeah, right. Sky Ninja and Mira's it looks like a, bridge. a real bridge. Wait, this one's kind of sick. Yeah, this one's this one is Peter S's. He actually you're supposed to, oh, he, he wants us to through. put the weight all the way down the middle here. Wait, why? I don't know, but he seems to be a pretty good engineer, so <laughs> this one's probably gonna be pretty strong. Yeah, this is Leeds. I like that he added his own support material because we told them that we weren't going to print with support material so he's like okay i'll just I design my own support yeah he material. took it personally it's actually gonna <laughs> sit on there like this you're printing the bridges i'm gonna go start figuring out the test stand we have to test a bridge and then we're gonna test, a, test bridge. a bridge it's gonna be super easy <laughs> this jingle is sick do camera it, do it do it <laughs> <laughs> I just finished designing my bridge. I created this in like, what, 20 minutes? I'm not gonna say a civil engineer would like sign off on this or anything, but I'm not, I'm not not proud of it. I think it'll be fine. Oh. Let's see how much it weighs. Hey, let's go. Oh, 9.976. Take that, Swapnel. Okay, so when we gave the, the Discord the bridge challenge, we gave them a very specific mounting interface. And now, we need to make the mounts for that interface. So we told them that they'd have two M3 holes, 20 millimeters apart, and the whole bridge needs to be 200 millimeters long. I think this is the final design for the bridge mount. They're gonna mount right there. They have a nice flat face. I just made this as thick as I can. Hopefully, it just won't go anywhere. How's your bridge? I haven't done it. Oh, that's a rectangle. Whoa, that was looking like a rectangle. <laughs> that's a rectangle. It's looking pretty good. Jesse, feel this thing. Break it, I dare you. Like, I don't think there's gonna be a bridge that's gonna be stronger than that, right? Like, there's no way. Yeah, dang, dude, nice job. It feels a little bad to use a 3D printed part to hold a 3D printed bridge in place, but I've printed it with like way higher infill. There's captive nuts in there, so we just screw it in from the top, and like, we don't need a nut in the bottom to hold the bridge in place. My engineering professors would be proud. I'm proud, yeah. Civil engineers would, would pass this one. Oh, I'm just filming feet right now. Damn it, I did the millennial pause again. I guess that's not going anywhere. So. Wait, I think we both have to slap it and say this ain't going anywhere. This bad boy ain't going anywhere. <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so we just need to figure out where this is gonna go. Oh yeah, where are we, where are we gonna put this whole thing? Right, because we need to hang a bucket from it. So we need to hang it between stools, I guess. We probably should have thought about this <sighs> a little bit more before the day of game night, but yeah, whatever. It's two by fours, it's not okay. going anywhere. Okay. Did we ever talk about how we're gonna fix this to this? Clamps, I guess. Do you think we can steal the clamp from this thing? Uh, if your plan is to replace a big clamp with two little clamps, <laughs> then no. <laughs> All right, this, this is part of another go. video, don't don't worry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this should work fine. Let's just do this. <sighs> okay, Home Depot bucket. How do we pour water into this thing? Uh, Dude, I have a siphon. You have a siphon? This thing? Why are you sending me all the way back here? You have the siphon the whole Wait. But don't you have to like suck water into it, like no, with no, your mouth? Thing, uh, that's archaic. How does it work? Uh, so like this thing, you just kind of uh, squeeze it and then it sucks. Huh? This bad boy ain't going anywhere. <laughs> this bad boy ain't going somewhere. Swap, no, I just realized we should probably get a towel. <laughs> oh, this towel is nasty. Oh. oh. <laughs> it is 8.58. 
<laughs> all right, it looks like we're gonna make it just in time. Oh wait, hold up. So first of all, the reason why we were two hours behind schedule is because we took the test bridge and we put the bucket on it with the steel cable. We poured water in with the siphon and then we ran out of room in the bucket. The, the bridge <laughs> held the entire bucket full of water. It was, it like, was ridiculous. Like that bridge is like 10 grams of PLA. Probably a little more than that, but like, how? Didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> so what we did, so we went over to our neighbor's house and we stole all of their free weights we, and we just loaded the bucket up with dumbbells and like five pound plates. We filled it up with weights and then we filled it with water. Yeah, I think the max we filled a bucket up to was just over a hundred pounds. It was enough that the uh, steel cable was like breaking the bucket handle. Um, so with all of that in mind, that's why it took us a long time. And then we finally got the bridges going. It's bridge time. <laughs> it's bridge time. Wait, Matt's bridge was made from a... He just drew his name, and then one of the other Discord members took his name and turned it into the bridge. The M bending has made it compliant. It actually survived. <laughs> oh, Alright, there we go. Do you know why it leafed like that? He put in extra holes to make it print stronger, but then it messed up. <laughs> it just like compressed. Oh, oh, look at it go. Oh, oh no. Tear out is really sad because that bridge is going to be really strong. Oh, it was also a tear, tear out. out. Dude, that one was gonna be unnecessarily strong. Yeah. It's going. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Dude, breaking out of the middle. I think it was the only bridge that broke in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I see it. It's not symmetric. Oh. Whoa, that's Whoa. a crazy failure. Yeah, that's so weird. It failed in four points, of, or well, really, I guess two points wow. failed and then everything else failed out around that bridge. Riveting. <laughs> you don't even know. It's not doing anything. You know, this is chilling. I don't think this bridge is going to fail. I don't yeah. think we've reached like yield strength on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we have to call this. I don't think it's going to break. What note is the, is the string okay. if you pluck it? That's an E. It is an E. Uh, Holy crap. It's an E. <laughs> what, what? Sour's bridge was a surprisingly weak one. Not not a dig at you, Sour, but I thought your bridge would do really well. Oh my goodness. Whoa, it's tearing. It's like, it, if it had room to have kept falling, it would have... Like, oh, the bucket hit the floor. Yeah. Right. But it, it had right, broken. Right. You thought that was weak? Check out this guy's bridge. Dude. This guy doesn't. It's like he's not even a mechanical engineer. What is he doing? I don't know. I don't know. It's holding on. Jen Graham, let's go. By nothing. Yeah, you should have hung it upside down. It would have done better. Hung it upside down. Well, no. It's that now. How is it not tearing it? It's picking up like one piece Oh, that's such a weak show. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. You said it. You said it. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Jesse's bridge had probably the coolest failure mode. I don't remember it. Look at the top. It gets wavy. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh, this one was unfortunate. Yeah, mine got twisted. It was still strong though. It was pretty strong. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's like ripping. Oh, I forgot about this I one. I was a big fan of this bridge, <laughs> Alex. <gasps> it was really hard to make a print in place chain and then it was really sad because whenever we installed the first one, just we screwed it in too tight and it just broke my bridge, so I had to reprint it. 
Oh, wow, the time lapse makes it look so stretchy. Yeah. I just launched the chain off. It did, it hit me in the face. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Westy is a nerd. <laughs> what are those little Discord I tags mean? Can we get them for our server? I want a tag. Westies was the only bridge that made his bolts asymmetric. So like mm. the bolt only attached on this side and the other side was free floating. It worked. Yeah, it was a really good play of the rules. Yeah. Cause that way you can print flat on the build plate. Like the other side is completely flat. Okay, I thought this video was just not playing, but his bridge is just so strong, it's just not moving. <laughs> yeah, we, we had to pan down to show that the bucket was at its max. Yeah, all right, I'd say we unload it. I think we're done. All right. What? We're out of, we're out of space. That's... Congrats to Wesley and Taz. Because we don't have an ad read, we should do a Patreon. Like, Patreon's making this possible. Thank you. And come support us on Patreon if you want to see us do more challenges and build robots with our community cut to us jumping on bridges.